the idea of Verde Sounds came from discussing shared interests within our group and two things that we all had in common were the love of ambient relaxing music and passion for nature and the environment so the idea kind of developed from there. As an audio engineering student my main role was to make sure that everything worked and ran smoothly in terms of the hardware and software and also to bring the sounds together cohesively and make sure they were well mixed and mastered. We wanted to create something fun and eye-catching but also to make people think a little bit. That's kind of where the idea for the house plants came from because we thought it was fun and relatable it would kind of be a talking point of interest to people Followed the tutorial on the zhood.com to teach us how to make the touch capacitive of the switch. We had to modify it for it to work for our project, changing the resistor to a 1 mega ohm resistor. This tutorial also supplied the code for Arduino, which we also modified to suit our project. We followed this tutorial to send data from Arduino to Max through the serial port. The serial data comes in through this part of the patch. When the resistance level goes above this certain threshold, it sends a bang which triggers the samples in this area. This bang also selects the switch which changes the video when the plants are touched. My name is Iwana Shalaru and I was responsible for creating the ambient music for this project. Musically speaking, the project includes two different styles of original compositions, ambient music and dissonant sound effects. 
As our project is entitled Virtual Sounds, I found it an interesting idea for music to mimic the sound of nature. A music with few sound elements which does not stand out too much but has a massive effect on the mental state of the people present at the event or for the people who are listening to the music itself. In order to compose such music, I decided to use repetitive, slowly evolving chord progressions and patterns. To contribute to the definition of a natural environment, I also use field recordings from nature. You may not realize it, but all the music is made up of the same musical motives that are repeated. In order to avoid a general dull state, I use several techniques such as inversion of the melody or augmentation of the musical motives to create a more solid sound background. In order to supplement the skills we needed to complete this project, we received help from outside. Therefore, the 3D images included in our presentation were made by my brother who is an architect. Also, the poster was made by my sister who is a graphic designer. One of my original aims was to connect synesthesia concept with our project, but synesthetic perception varies from person to person. I decided to focus more on creating a general state rather than a personal one. Hi, my name is Rudraksh Bhateja and in this project I'm responsible for creating dissonant sound. My research sat from understanding the auditory cortex of the whole composition composed by Iona. We had several discussions about how to make a dissonant sound more effective and more provocative. The reason being, uh, when we started to have a dissonant sound, we thought of making it more, a bit more uh, distorted. But at the end, we came to the conclusion that as it is so much nature sound is involved, so we should have a dissonant sound which should not be that ear hushing. Like it should sound really odd but not that odd that it should go out of the way for that i had a couple of things in my mind after listening to the composition for a couple of time i came to the conclusion of creating a dissonant sound which gels really well with the composition with the original composition and all the songs composed for this project one of the main challenges for the project was getting the interactive element up and running and working smoothly uh, we went down the route of touch capacitive sensors for the plants so that whenever you touch the plants we could trigger sounds and effects on the videos and <coughs> eventually we did get it working with a little bit of trial and error and it worked really well in the end. It, I really enjoyed exploring the musical sounding dissonance um, as a tool for kind of invoking emotion and thought. Strong.